Hi, today we are going to talk about the topic of metals, focusing on the reactivity series. The reactivity series is a way to classify metals based on their reactivity, ranked from the most reactive metal to the least reactive metal. But wait, what is reactivity? Good question. In this case, the reactivity of the metals is determined by the ability of the metal atoms to lose electrons to form ions. For example, potassium loses an electron to form an ion here. Now let's take a look at the reactivity series. Metals are ranked based on their reactions with water and acids, with the more reactive metals reactions being more rapid and violent while the less reactive metals reactions being less rapid and violent. Here are the reactions of potassium with hydrochloric acid and water. You might have noticed that carbon and hydrogen are not metals. However, they are included in the reactivity series to act as an indicator of the reactivity of the metals above and below them in the series. Metal oxides or metals above carbon do not react with carbon to give a metal and carbon dioxide gas. Metals below hydrogen do not react with dilute acids to produce a salt and hydrogen gas. Remembering the reactivity series. I memorize it by this mnemonic. Keep no cookies, milk and cake. Zoom fast, super peanuts has cupcakes hidden away or party. Metal compound reactivity. A more reactive metal would more likely be found in a compound rather than in elemental form. This is because it is easier to, for it to lose its valence electrons and form bonds with another element or molecule. Since it can easily form ions, it prefers to stay as ions and results in the formation of strong bonds. This results in the compound of the reactive metal to be unreactive due to the high energy needed to break the bonds of the compound. The reverse is true for less reactive metals. Displacement reactions. A more reactive metal tends to displace a less reactive metal from its salt solution. This is a form of redox reaction. For example, iron displaces copper from its salt solution. Ready for a test? During the test, you can pause the video to work the question out on your own and resume the video when you are ready. Which metal is more reactive? Zinc, copper, gold or iron? The answer will be revealed in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zinc is the answer. Which metal salt is more reactive? Sodium chloride, copper 1 chloride, silver chloride, or potassium chloride? The answer will be revealed in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Silver chloride. C is the answer. Which metal can displace iron from iron salt solution? Silver, mercury, platinum, or zinc? The answer will be revealed in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is Zinc D. With that, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and remember to subscribe. We'll be covering the concept of reactions with metals in the next video. See you next time. Check out my other videos here.